Hi everyone, it's Irene and I have a little project I'd like to share with you today. I'm so excited because I had some free time to put together a project without any interruptions and uh, I can't wait to make some more. Um, so I want to say that the uh, in original inspiration came from Yoli Bean and she's on YouTube and that's how you dial up her channel. But Lori, just a girl from the Bay, recently made one of these and it really had... Uh, kicked me to go ahead and make one of mine finally so I did so thank you Lori for pushing me into that direction I had so much fun putting it together and thank you Yoli Bean for the inspiration so much fun she has an awesome channel and so does Lori two fabulous amazing artists to hop on over and check out and follow along I know you'd be glad you did and um, yeah just go check them out guys really sweet women so this is the fabric that I had used that I got uh, from I think it's I had this for a while my stash but I think it might have came from either Joann's or Walmart I'm not sure from where it came from but it's really pretty tall uh, baby blue color and what I did was I had ironed it on onto this heat and bond and this is the light version really fun stuff to use as you guys know I love to use it in many ways so that's what I did right here I ironed it on and let's see if I can show you um, see the shiny right here that's the glue on the fabric yeah, so it's really easy. You just peel the back and do whatever you wish with it. And what I did was I used the 6x9 envelopes that I got from my local Dollar Tree. I have quite a few of these in my stash, but I, the ones I have have sticky um, closures, and I wanted something with a hole and a metal closure, so I just went out to try some of these. And what I did was I ironed on the fabric onto the envelope, did some sewing all the way around, I know people are going to ask me why I ironed it on to the Pellon interfacing. It's because um, there's no bubbles. There's nothing. Once you iron it on, it goes on flat and it's there to stay. I don't have to worry about getting air bubbles out if I'm using glue. I don't have to worry about it being lifting. Um, all the edges um, don't come off. There's no fraying. So that's why I like to use that product when it comes onto paper. So I thought that was really pretty. And this particular one is just getting started. On this particular one, I'm making it a, th a thicker um, spine. And so I found my middle. And then I go half inch, I mean half, an eighth of an inch on one side of that middle, an eighth of an inch on the other side of that middle to make it a thicker um, binding, I mean spine. So when it gets super thick, it'll be like that. But on the one I'm about to show you, I did not do that. Um, the stamps I used were these right here by Fiskars. Really fun uh, stack. I got it at Tuesday morning and it's called the Girly Posh. Really pretty. I also used this Fiskars here and this is called Sentiments by Teresa Collins. Really cute stamp set. I used these doilies from $1.50 Michael Spot. And this is Recollections, the Sophia line. It's a brand new line. They're in Michaels, really pretty cutouts. Um, this tablet from a while ago from Michaels, it just uh, matched the blue that I'm using. And I also use a Martha Stewart punch. I use this nylon twine to bind my little booklet. Prima flowers, really pretty. And what, as I'm working on this journal, all my cutouts and punch outs. My extras go into this little basket, and when I need to do tuck spots or so on, I just pull from this basket and try to use everything I can from here first before I go to anything else. And I also use some of my tickets. And I coffee dye the papers. Um, and here's the little booklet right here. Really fun. I used a hair closure that I got from the Dollar Tree. I just put on these little flowers here, and it stays on quite easily. It keeps it all together. And I also made a little dangle here. I put it on the bottom of the booklet this time around. I usually put them on the spine, but um, this time it's on the bottom. I did sew in my two signatures. And let's go in. Oh, and I did sewing all around like I showed you. And here it is. Uh, this is the envelope tuck spot right here. You can flip it open to put stuff in. I stamped up this little um, sentiment that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. And then I got some banners here. You can put a picture here. Some journaling. There's a ticket. Here's a tuck spot here. Coffee dyed paper. Really pretty. The little stamp. And this is also a tuck spot right here. 
Really fun. So, Lori, thank you so much for uh, showing us yours. And Yoli Bean, thank you for the inspiration. Yoli Bean you makes them out of bigger envelopes, but it's the same concept. Really fun. Love making these. Very addicting, very easy to put together. Very fun to use. So, and I get to use up all my coffee dyed and, pa and tea dyed paper. So it's nice to know that all that work didn't go to waste. Yeah, never for a junk journal, junkie, any paper goes to waste, does it? Every piece gets used up. A little tech spot here. So this was a lot of fun to put together. And little pockets here. Very easy, very fun to have on the desk. Jot down ideas, memories, thoughts, gratitude. It could be anything. Wishes, Santa, list. You can never start early enough, right? Haha. <laughs> yes, and that's the end of it right here. Here's another envelope with a tuck spot here, and there's the original tuck spot from the envelope and then that's the other envelope and then I stamped up right here so whoever gets it can put their name in it and there it is there's a the closure very fun a lot of fun to make so head on over you guys to Lori just a girl from the bay or Yoli being or both I know you'd be glad you did I'm so inspired by these women all the time they make me a better crafter and I so appreciate them. Thanks everyone for stopping by and viewing this project. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. And hope everyone's having a great Friday. Take care. Bye-bye.